come to me. All of you read my voice on screen. Those who are attending in online, I'm audible, guys. <coughs> Please confirm to me. All of you read my voice on screen. Those who are attending in online. Guys, please confirm to me. All of you get my voice on screen. Those who are attending in online. Everybody, please respond to me, guys. All of you get my voice on screen. Right, sir. And uh, check it what we completed in the last session. What topic here we understood there in the last two classes. So, JDBC application development here we are understanding. In a JDBC steps here we are starting. Inside the JDBC steps, so if you observe this clearly. Right, sir. And uh, when compared with the last class, why people are less today? Are you, are you? Yesterday that movie was right already completed. Why, sir? Is it because of that movie only? No. What is that? Uh huh. Festival, huh? I think it's the ladies' festival. I think, sir. No. Okay, I don't know. Really, I don't know whose festival it is. No, it's a regular festival. Ekadeshi, huh? Mukot Ekadeshi. Okay, fine. Is a girls' festival or everybody's festival? All family festival. Family? Family festival, right? They are attending class now. All right, sir. It's okay. <clears throat> Steps to prepare first JDBC application. All right. Here, what are the various steps here we are having there? Overall, download and install database software, download and install Java software, Eclipse IDE, IntelliJ IDEA, create a Java project in IDE, add a driver jar file to the project library, create main class, main method, and provide JDBC application logic. In the JDBC application logic, what we have there, load and register driver, establish connection between Java application and the database, create either statement or prepared statement or callable statement, write job and execute SQL queries after this, close the resources, right? So, cuttons, close cuttons, adjust it, all right, sir. All right, sir. This is clearly the data, that means what we are having there. I think some of you have requested to us already. So try to show that initialization process of these databases clearly. Right, sir. Just, of course, majority of you are already aware about it. But as part of the responsibility, then we need to install that software also. Let me show that initialization process. Okay. One time only. One time work only, not for every project. Don't install Oracle database for every project. One time work only. One time initialization is sufficient. We can prepare any number of projects. All right. Already, I have Oracle database with me and MySQL database. Both are available with me. Let me uninstall first both the databases. All right, sir. Now, if you want to uninstall any software, what we have to do? Hmm? What we have to do? Can I go to the location where I installed Oracle? I think so. Oracle 21XE is available with me. Can I delete this folder? This is the this is this step is a totally wrong step. Don't delete the folders directly. If you delete that folders, no, only visible files and folders might be deleted. When we install Oracle database, internally some files and folders are existed. That internal files and folders are not deleted. Then what they are able to do now, they will not allow us to reinstall the same software. At the same time, that the Oracle software off of the software is deleted. So only one option on that particular moment. We have to format the system. Otherwise, we have to find the location where 
internal files and folders are available that we have to delete but it is difficult don't to delete the softwares in this way especially oracle database right now <clears throat> let me go for it now i need to go for like a control panel here we have to use to uninstall the softwares there we have to use what their control panel inside the control panel programs uninstall a program in my database in my system already i have mysql is available at the same time oracle 21c express edition is available yes sir what is available here no oracle 21c express edition all right now uninstall system has chosen to remove the oracle xe database from our system after removal oracle xe database including its database files under the listener will no longer be available for use yes exactly the same thing i'm expecting right <clears throat> right sir then one more thing i'm telling to you how many of you are having already databases in our systems please raise your hands how many of you are having that right then all of you i'm giving suggestion to you don't uninstall your software you are just i am trying to show the software installation that's why i am uninstalling that don't do any practicals over this existed database try to use the as it is try to use the same software as it is understand it clearly no, i think so some files are already in use right sir are you aware about it why it is not uninstalled why it is giving that information to me already oracle database files i am using in some other project at my evening spring framework i have used that spring framework or maybe some other advanced java that's why it is not allowing me to uninstall <clears throat> now it is okay it is taking some time and uh, one more point please recognize this if we take the oracle database those who are using mac mac operating system clear cut information mac is not supporting oracle oracle is not supported by mac so there there is a lengthy process there is a process to install mac no that will be like what there here we have to install virtual box oracle virtual box we have to install there we have to get the oracle but it is a lengthy process instead of that what i am telling to you then better to avoid the utilization of the oracle for jdbc program in a mac operating system there we can use what there we can use mysql mysql is supported still if any of you require that how to install mysql in the mac operating system i will show that already i had some practice over this i'll show this don't worry for it we will see some examples even on mac operating system also as per our requirement but if you are using all of you are using that okay <clears throat> right sir let it complete once once it is completed then we will start in installation process but meanwhile i want to download the software from internet now it is going to be uninstall no i want to download the software from internet also carefully now here just google it sir now even i don't know <clears throat> i don't know then from where we have to download this just google it what we have to google there oracle 21c xe download <laughs> i think so i think so we are using oracle 21c express edition is the latest version here in express editions now or else simply we can say like what there oracle download just we can say like what there oracle download oracle download like like this here we can search for it directly we have to go for what there oracle.com is a website name www.oracle.com right so just open it in a new tab <clears throat> open it in new tab there we are able to get some content here oracle database software downloads okay fine oracle database software downloads some oracle website it is showing there let me check it now pre installation guide 20 oracle database 23c is available but express edition is what there 
these are what they download oracle database xe for windows all right so now this is for linux i think so ideal for mac os what is this no run the oracle database 23c free container image with docker right for fetch with the docker image it is available here mac os linux and all these things no docker images here it's okay containerization is a topic there i think if you are attended devops you might be aware about the docker yes sir are you aware about it no a docker all we are going to pack at a single image no that image we are going to install right so it's okay there's a different story if you want to use it that we can use there but anyway my requirement is what there download download oracle database xe for windows listen carefully two types of flavors are available in oracle database what are the two flavors there in oracle databases no one is enterprise edition and other one is what there express edition what are the two things no one is what there enterprise edition other one is what there express edition enterprise edition is a relatively heavyweight enterprise edition is what there relatively heavyweight moreover uh, full stack features will come all features of the oracle will come more and more features will come and shall i point now relatively express edition is a lightweight express edition is what there lightweight but uh, minimum features will come not all the features no but for our jdbc applications minimal features of the oracle are sufficient no need to go for the too much internal features of this oracle if you are the oracle admin if you are the database admin they definitely may go with what there enterprise edition but being the java developer if you want to use oracle database as a back end for you normal express edition is sufficient moreover it is a lightweight your system performance will be increased when compared with the enterprise edition what are these enterprise editions actually oracle 10g 11g 12c uh, 18c 21c 23c now at present all these are like what their enterprise editions oracle 10xe 11xe 18xe 21xe they are the versions only 10xe 11xe next one is 18xe between that no express editions are available after this 18xe the next one is what their 21xe 21c express edition they are the versions which are available inside the oracle now i want to download 21 see express edition i want to download it also carefully now here i want to click on it download the oracle database xe for windows just click on this one whenever we are clicking on this one here now directly it is starting the downloading downloading is started here got it or not okay now here what i am telling to you just i want to give that locations also in the document <clears throat> download and install now here directly i want to provide what there All right sir installation process of oracle database All right sir now installation process here i'm showing to you try to understand it now step number 1 download oracle software from the following link All right sir now if it if you keep that link there there we are able to get it clearly now we can see this All right, sir. Oracle XE. I don't know what is that. Twenty one dot three. I think so. Version name. Oracle XE twenty one dot three. Observe carefully how much size it is available. Here, no one point eight GB. But almost all zero point six it is downloaded here. But we have to wait few more minutes of time. Then once it is completed here, then we are able to get it. Zip file we are able to get. Yes, sir. Get my point or not? What file here we are able to get? No zip file. And one more thing. we are downloading this from what from the oracle website am i right or not 21 xc is okay in general it has to come from the rq downloads maybe in my system directly it is downloading in your system it may ask oracle account login authentication i think already you created in core java uh, username and password we created for oracle right use that oracle authentication then after that only we can download it it may be downloaded no need to worry for it right sir now it is going to be downloaded here One GB is already downloaded. Just we have to wait one more minute of time. Once it is coming, then we will go for the process. I'm going to give the process here. I think already had this software, but let me download it once again. So I'm doubtful about it. Twenty one dot three version, or maybe twenty two thirteen in the sense. What is that? Let me check once now. Once if it is completed. 
right sir meanwhile what is the status of my uninstallation process here no all right sir it was uninstalled here there we can see this <clears throat> oracle virtual machine is available but previously oracle 21 xe is available there that we already completed okay right sir it's okay fine right sir almost all completing so again i am requesting to you if you have already oracle any version enterprise version or express version or maybe oracle 12c or maybe 18c or maybe 19c or express or maybe 21c whatever it may be but don't disturb your existing oracle one time if you disturb it no it may or may not come again so don't touch that oracle installation again if you have already oracle database if you are not having oracle database no just try to follow this process what are the process i'm telling to you yes, sir got it or not all right sir all right sir now it is almost all completed just go to the folder all right sir. now here we are getting like what is this one now let me copy this <clears throat> i want to copy this in general i used to keep all my databases at the e drive e drive softwares inside the softwares databases it is available oracle inside this oracle yeah with respect to your batch also i want to create a separate one all right sir now here i want to provide something like what there oracle 21 xe i thought of it it is a 21 21 or 23 huh 21.3 i think so might be let me check it and it's go 1130 it's okay in your batch timing <clears throat> obviously i am only right sir then i provided this one 213213 i think so sub version may be 21.3 i think so right right sir now before that let me check once again here my oracle is already available or not is it removed or not sql plus if i type it no now it is not coming means that it was deleted it was uninstalled totally it was uninstalled moreover i'll come back to this location here c drive inside this three drive oracle 21 xe it is available d installed the total thing is uninstalled so i want to remove this folder here oracle 21 xe folder i removed now what i am telling to you in the process of installation here try to create one folder for the sake of your oracle version now i want to provide it is like what there oracle 21 xe a separate folder here i created inside this folder i want to keep my oracle database got it or not okay right uh, now understand it clearly what i am telling to you i'll go to what there oracle okay fine now here i want to go there see it in the e drive inside the e drive softwares inside the softwares databases inside the databases oracle then where i kept this one right what is the location here 1130a right this is available oracle xc 21.3 windows 64 it's okay it's available got it or not uh, just one minute one minute of time uh, let me let me clear about all the steps here in the future when we unfortunately feel if we lose your oracle database in our system just follow this manual so that you can reinstall it again now if it is a case here all right so now let me prepare the document here all right then after that second one is what there all right so after downloading after downloading oracle software we will find a zip file right sir now the second one is what there we will find the zip file second one is what there unzip unzip the file unzip this particular file if you unzip this particular file what we are able to get here understand it now so many things here we are able to get inside this just unzip it extract here click on this extract here <clears throat> right so many so many files and folders here we are able to get let it complete totally there we are able to have some setup files <coughs> installation file we are able to get all right sir now here <clears throat> see this one oracle database 21c express edition windows installer file here we are getting setup file is coming there setup file is not mandatory even through the setup file also we can do that 
but not mandatory we have to click on what there this particular one all right sir now i will show this particular point here now let me take this one also all right sir now here what i will provide there oracle uh, database oracle database anyway not required to provide this it's okay now in the document here what i'm telling here so unzip and find set up a file all right so now here okay, what we are able to say no double click on this set up a file double click on this set up file now let us do this one same thing no double click on this set of file i think all of you are aware about right now just i think it is not visible for you in the document i am giving clearly just double click on this set of file here if it double click on this set of file now automatically installation process will start now see this at least you are able to see this information here welcome to the installation wizard oracle database 21c express edition 21c oracle database express edition clear all right sir just we are going to get it from this point downwards max cases we are going to click on next two buttons except to the location where we want to install except that location here we can click on what there next button here now observe carefully now here double click on it next one is what there click on the next button click on the next button now let me check it if we click on the next button it is asking about like what there uh, terms and conditions agreement asking about this particular agreement now here now select uh, select uh, the checkbox select the radio button select the radio button to accept the acts of the terms and conditions terms and conditions it's a formality only right sir accept it i accept the terms in the license agreement then click on what there next button let me provide this total process here maybe it may be useful for you in the future if i click on next button now this is the location here by default it is going to take some location guys then what location it is taking there by default no administrator location it has taken there c app administrator product 21 c in this location it is going to be installed by default what are the locations are now tell me c app administrator administrator in the sense user my user actually inside my system user is what the administrator like that i created username okay administrator product 21c this is a location it has taken but my intention is what there not under app and administrator directly i want to install it under what there c drive in c drive oracle 21 xc location i prepared now there i want to install it right so now let me check this one change oracle installation location to c colon slash oracle 21 xe location to oracle c colon slash oracle 21 xe xe location <clears throat> by clicking on the change button by clicking on the change button right sir now let me do this click on the change button if we click on the change button there we have to remove like what there we have to select the location what location here it has provided there no in a c drive inside the c drive all right what exactly the location is available here we can identify this no oracle 21 xc it's available click on ok button now location will be finalized what is the location it was finalized here c oracle 21 xc it is finalized okay right sir then what next one here click on next button click on the next button again and again i'm telling to you already if you have oracle database don't touch that oracle existed database try to use the same thing i will show how to execute our program even with the enterprise edition whatever the oracle version you are having no doubt we can execute our program there with that don't uninstall it and uninstall your existed one okay right sir the next one is what there click on next button if you click on next button now it is asking about enter the database password 
by default username is what their system i don't want to change it that as is system one i'm going to use in my applications as simple as so i want to go for what there enter the database password and confirm database password if we click on next button then what next one again no enter the database password and confirm password for the user system all right sir password for the user system there the thing is what there password confirm password but the first one is what there password there i want to provide my password is what there durga system is what there <clears throat> system is what there username password is what there durga confirm password again i'm providing what there durga remember remember this guy in my system i'm going to do this username is what there system enter database password durga i provided now the confirm password again here i'm providing what there durga again here i'm providing what there durga both are same then after that after providing this what next one here click on the next button click on the next button right sir <clears throat> click on the next button all right sir then finally it has given the final locations there destination folder oracle home what is that oracle home sir now tell me oracle home is what there c oracle 21xc db home okay next one is what there c oracle 21xc oracle home is available db home xc please remember this okay all right sir then after that click on what there click on click on the install button <clears throat> click on the install button all right sir if you click on install button then it will start installation clear the process here what i am telling to you yeah this may take several minutes of time you don't have any alternative you have to wait for it <clears throat> So username is what there system and password is what there Durga in my system. Why? Because we need to give this username and password in our JDBC. Whatever the username and password we created here. Of course, in the future, we may create new user in the Oracle database. There we are going to provide username and password there separately. That one also we can use. Or else default user is what their system. Password I created for it. That is what their Durga. Then we, this one also we can use in our system scheme. All right, sir. <clears throat> So meanwhile, I want to download MySQL database from the internet here. Already we download and we are started installation of what there? Oracle database here, no? right? It may take some time anyway. Installation of this uh, Oracle database, it may, it may take some time now. But I want to go for what there? <clears throat> Downloading of MySQL database. That one also I'm going to use. Throughout JDBC, I'm going to use these two databases frequently. Right, so half of the programs with Oracle and half of the programs with what there? MySQL. Why? Because conclusions are different. Some conclusions may be varied from one database to another database. You know, that we are going to see both the databases. For Java developers, for Java application development, both the databases are utilized at present in our site. Oracle is a standard one, but MySQL is also very easy to use. So both the databases are going on for our applications. So we need to have awareness on both the databases. All right, sir. Now my intention is what there? After installation of the Oracle, I have to give some queries information. I don't know how much you are aware about this Oracle database. Installations are okay. All of you are having your Oracle databases in our system. Up to that, very happy. I feel very happy. But the point is what? How many of you are able to write SQL queries, basic SQL queries, minimal SQL queries? I don't know. Then we need to have awareness on these SQL queries. Of course, if you are joined with Oracle course here, well and good. Already might be um, our Oracle trainer has given information to you regarding that, how to write that SQL queries. But if you are not joined with Oracle course here, then for them I have to take care. Even this, everything I'm discussing with you, those who are not attending Oracle classes now. I think almost all of you attended Oracle classes, am I right? No response. 
Okay. In, in Durga soft and outside of Durga soft, that doesn't matter. Finally, you are having RGL awareness or not. That's the question now, right? <clears throat> yes? Right, sir. Then we have to wait for it. Let me complete it. Later on, I'll download that MySQL database also. We'll get it very quickly. <clears throat> So if we complete this total installation process no, directly we have to click on like what is the next button then finish button only. Max, no other uh, might be configurations, Max. But MySQL database if you want to install there, some configurations we require. Internet connection is mandatory. At the same time, .NET framework is mandatory. Visual Studio is a mandatory in your system. Then only you are able to install uh, MySQL database. These are mandatory, right? That fortunately, by default, at our operating system in Windows operating system, .NET Framework is available. Visual Studio is also be existed inside our operating system, so not required to think much about it. But internet connection is mandatory. On flow, it able to it is able to download some files from internet. It is able to install that files internally, so that that we have to maintain. Internet connection is mandatory. But for a regular database installation process, no internet connection is not mandatory. I think some intimation here we are getting there. Configuring a regular XE listener. Right, sir. Now it is asking that it is showing that acknowledgement. Configuring a regular XE database. Yes, okay. <clears throat> right, sir. If it is going on there, it will be completed. After that, it will speed up the installation process. <coughs> If any error is identified there, it is going to ask like what are the retry and all these things. Just wait for it. Oracle Excel listener configured successfully. Configuring Oracle Excel database. Most of the people are getting problem with Oracle Excel listener. Oracle Excel listener, TSN listener. The problem will come there while executing first application. There also I will show some solutions to you how to come out from that. But maximum if you are getting this one. Oracle XE listener configured successfully, then it will be the installation process in an effective way. Everything is going on good in the Oracle database installation. In the case, if you are getting the information like what there, listener failed, listener installed installation failure, definitely may get some problems in our database system. But in my system, I got that information there, listener installed successfully. So no problems are going on with my database. Comfortably, we can use the database for our JDBC applications. It's going on now. Seven percentage is completed. Okay? Just we have to wait for it. Once it is completed, then it will speed up the total the total remaining part of the installation. And one more thing I'm telling there. In my system, nearly it was 20 GB of memory I maintained. 20 GB of memory I maintained, so it was somewhat better in my system. But in your systems, it may take a lot of time. Uh, but in general, what they have it for every user now, whenever they have seen this much of time, one minute or two minutes of time, are, are, something is going on, yeah, then immediately they are going to click on what button there? Cross button. Then uh, otherwise they are going to click on what there? Cancel button. That's it. There itself, your installation process will be ended. Half of the software is installed. Remaining half of the software is not installed. Again, maybe at evening time, you want to install again now. Even if you start installation, it will show the clear-cut message, Oracle is already existing in our system. If it is already available, if you want to open it now, no configurations are available for Oracle. Again, it is showing this kind of problem there. Only one option, you have to format your system. No second thought. So don't click on cancel buttons or like what their cross buttons in the middle of the software in installations. Everybody understand it clearly now. So if it if anything is wrong inside this installation process, no, it will show clear, it will give a pop-up menu for us. Then it able to give us some alert box there. Where some mistake is going on, you want to abort this uh, installation process or not? It is asking the official. There we can click on it. I get my point or not? But unnecessarily, don't click on the cancel buttons and uh, cross buttons there in the installation process. But this is a habit for us. 
in general most of the people are doing that one then even after clicking on that cancel buttons or cross buttons even though if you bring your laptops to me i'm unable to do anything the simple i will format your system if you have movies that movies are also be deleted uh, don't ask me what type of movies no are yaar salar movie right animal movie <laughs> Yeah, I watched that Salar movie actually. Yeah, it's okay. No, boring, huh? Movie boring, right? Hey, yeah. What is there in that movie? A hero is coming and hero is murdered. Almost all hundred to two hundred members. No, finish. The entire story is going on like that only. But actually, at the end there is a twist. I'm waiting for the conclusion, climax. No. Ah, uh, in the cool manner they are giving a display. Wait for second, second uh, one. Uh, the entire environment they created there. The next thing is war only. Different, different military people are coming at a particular place. No, I'm thinking about it. Okay, maybe then very good war scene will come there. But they are disappointed. Uh, uh, I was totally disappointed by seeing that one. Then my brother said to me, "Arey, our movie was completed. Just chill, like no, <laughs> mind is not accepting for it. Anyway, waiting for second in the sense, not at all. Where it will come?" Maybe my son will teach Java by the time. Right? I think now it's going on. Process is going on. Okay, just wait for it. Thirty percent completed. Thirty-three percent is waiting for it. <clears throat> yeah, one time effort only. Even though it is taking some time, just wait for it. <clears throat> and uh, one more thing i'm telling to you uh, in your laptops minimum maintain 8 gb ram don't go with only 4 gb ram like this then it is an uh, uh, might be outdated part in the world and is maybe people are using 4 gb rams in the laptops now but nowadays as per the application development as per the server maintenance maybe database maintenance maybe minimum 8 gb ram minimum of the minimum Understand it here, but if we go with the sixteen GB RAM, well and good. More than eight GB RAM, it's okay, suggestible. But eight GB RAM is minimum. But less than eight GB RAM, if we are having in our system there, definitely our system may come for what there. Maybe it will be slow down, right? Comfortably, we are unable to execute the applications. It may take a lot of time to complete our applications. Execute. Moreover, we are going to deal with the. We are going to execute programs with the IDEs. Again, IDEs will take what there uh, some lot of memory. At one side in the server's applications, at one side web logic server, at other side Oracle database, at other side like what the IntelliJ idea. All three heavyweight components have to be run. If you want to make, if you want to run these three things at a time, no, definitely minimum 8 GB RAM is required here in the future. So because of that reason, in our system, better to maintain 8 GB RAM. <clears throat> okay. Where? Yeah, why it is taking this much of time? <clears throat> How many of you are having MySQL database in our systems? MySQL database, only few members not having. How many of you are not having MySQL database? No, okay, then first I have to install MySQL. Unfortunately, I started this Oracle. Okay, let us. We are unable to do anything now. <laughs> We had to wait until the completion of this total software installation. <clears throat> See, nowadays, one minute. Nowadays, nobody is using databases in our local machines. Nobody is installing softwares in our local machines. 
everybody they are using cloud databases maybe servers maybe everybody they are using what they are depending on what their cloud then creating free account in aws and free tires are available in the aws then get that free tires free tire softwares then use them for our applications but remember it when your work is completed in aws you have to stop all the free softwares otherwise the calculations are going on internally uh, money cost will be provided already you might be given your credit code details uh, they will send continuously notices to you to pay the payments understand it now but remember it you have to stop your instances better to destroy that instances inside your aws otherwise it may be the problem why because up to some time duration they are able to give free sources now once the time duration is completed every minute is a chargeable how much time you are spending with your aws with that instances now okay then uh, i i remembered it i think so maybe few years back might be one of my student has opened that uh, aws and uh, instances there he created instances he started instances then simply he shut down his system then without stopping that instances without destroying that instance just he simply he, he, he shut down the system but in the cloud there calculations are going on and then almost all he got the he got the bill like nearly 60000 rupees yeah he got notice of it in the form of dollars they send it then on overall on a, a rough or roughly 60000 rupees he has to pay but how many days he has not opened that account i don't know 60000 rupees bill was generated for him on the day he came to me sir what i have to do there then i, I said to him then you can avoid it it's okay but the point is what if you avoid it it will be a problem there in the future also then better to have some bargain with the aws people try to chat with them definitely they may give some kind of concession over the payment finally he said to them i was a student unfortunately i didn't stop my resources there can you please check it like this after having almost all one week of discussion they reduced the payment almost on nearly 20000 the 40000 they reduced 22 20 odd something they have calculated they given reduction on that amount almost on one week of discussion after one week of discussion so then what is the point i am telling there instead of doing all these installations here we can open aws where we can take the database instances we can connect with them we can work with them it is also be possible almost on four to five years back i made one video in youtube also for that if you have any doubt just we can check one time get about it and how to connect with the cloud databases there but my program is available in the local system eclipse ad is available in the same local system but database is available where in the cloud i am connecting from my local system to cloud for the sake of this database operations there that i have done some videos then jdbc video i have done it the next one is what there servers application also i have done there there we can check it now that servers servers are also have taken at cloud but local machine to cloud i connected i am going to deploy the project from local machine to the cloud there i uh, checked that applications there now the sample applications only not completely enterprise application even i have not used any devops tools there the simple connection see <clears throat> in the jdbc url local host i used to specify local host local host in the sense in the current location current system in place of that local host we have to use the cloud url if we use the cloud url there automatically it's going to be connected that's the point here we are able to catch okay are yaar then how much time it is taking going on slow but in general it may not take this much of time in my system but anyway it's okay going on it's showing some personalization no? <clears throat> so once we are installation of one software it will not install it will not allow us to install or uninstall other softwares right sir meanwhile i want to check with the uh, mysql database also what version is the latest version here mysql downloads 
mysql download <coughs> right sir mysql.com is available listen carefully we can download the mysql database from two websites either we can go with oracle oracle website or we can go with what their mysql.com then two things are available from both of them we can download it what is the latest version of this mysql actually 8.0.35 no maybe i think so 8 version 8 is a major version minor versions are available let us check this clearly mysql downloads open a new tab All right sir open a new tab now here we are getting like what there mysql.com downloads All right sir now observe carefully now here we are getting something like what there at the bottom we can identify mysql community gpl downloads mysql community gpl downloads click on this mysql community gpl downloads no there we have to go for what there mysql installer for windows this is one thing here we can get it and mysql community server okay, of course either of these things here we can collect maybe individually if you want to get some connector j and all these things that one also here we can download it's okay fine no problem i want to go with what there mysql community server i want to go with that or else simply we can go with what there mysql installer for windows this one also we can click there all right sir if i click on this one there it is asking to us what is the latest version of this uh, particular mysql there mysql is coming in two flavors one is a 8.x versions another one is a 5.7 version 5.x versions understand it now now the latest one is what there here as for the content no 8.0.35 that is the latest version here now here we can identify this windows x86 32 bit installer it's okay no problem windows x86 32 bit installer either of this here we can download either of this here we can download this is community and this is a web app. now better to go with what their community click on like what their download this download here we have to click there i think so some changes are happened uh, now see this one oracle database here i'm telling to you completed sir in oracle everything is completed here then finally here we are getting what there come on what we are getting there finish button here now all right sir now pluggable database multi port 1521 port number it's okay fine by default it has taken 1521 click on finish button all right sir now in the document here what i am telling to you then click on the what button here no finish button click on the finish button okay this one we completed if i click on this finish button fine installation process is completed after completion of this oracle installation process there I want to check this Oracle is installed successfully or not. All right, so now to check uh, to check uh, Oracle database to check uh, whether the Oracle database Oracle database is installed or not. What we have to do there to check whether the Oracle database is installed or not. Open command prompt and uh, provide sql plus uh, in the command prompt all right sir now what we are able to see there just open command prompt now new command prompt we have to open don't use that existed command prompt now new command prompt here we have to open there we have to type for there sql plus uh, when we provide this sql plus what it is asking there enter username it is asking about like what there enter username right sir now what is that username here we have to provide there system all right immediately <clears throat> slash uh, password here we can enter what is the password i have given there no durga durga is a password i provided system slash uh, durga now click on enter button now database is available what is the version here no oracle database 21 say express edition all right sir 21.3 21 is a major version 3 is what there minor version now my database is available clearly database is installed in my system got it or not right sir then if we provide this information what is that no sql plus then automatically we are able to get this message here in the document even i am giving this information also now try to understand it sql plus if we type there sql plus if we provide here then automatically we are able to get like what there all these details now so by that we can understand it it is connected to what there 21.3 all 
all right express edition that we are getting it it's okay fine i think all of you might be aware about some queries there already you are aware about that queries just i want to show some queries information to you even if you are not aware it is a final information there you should not get in a doubt about this this total content here let's understand what about the queries here first of all i want to create a table in the database i want to create a table how i am going to create table now create a table then table name here we have to provide what is the table name here i am providing there emp1 for example as a standard table i want to use in my jdbs applications max cases now all right eno number of five i want to make it is what there primary key comma then what next one here e name then e name now i want to use what there where care to often comma e cell float of five all these are five ten no five are what there sizes column sizes here i'm providing right then after that e a d d r then what next one here <coughs> E A D D R. There we are able to provide like what there. Where care two of ten num. Right, we completed. Just provide what there semicolon. If we provide semicolon, now we are getting what there table created. Please remember this. Whenever we create a table in our database, no, it is mandatory to perform what there commit operation. Not only in the case of Oracle, not only in the case of MySQL. In general, in every database, if we do any changes in our database. Changes not for selecting, selecting in the sense fetching the data, not for that. Changes in the database, insertions may be, creating table may be, updations may be, anything mandatory to perform or their commit operation. Okay, sir, good. Table is created. Next one is I want to insert records into the database table. To insert records into the database table, what we have to do there? Insert into EMP1 values of 111 comma AAA comma then 5000 comma. And hide a bit some data here we provided. Click on enter button. There we are getting what there one row. Now, second row data here I want to provide. Now it will be like what there two to two. Next one is what there BBB. Then after that, 6000. All right, so next one is the third record here I want to provide. After providing this third record, 333. Next one is like what there and CCC. Then after that, 7000 here we are going to provide. Then one more record here I want to provide there. Then what about this one? 444 some data whatever it may be all right the data may be anything here just four records here i'm trying to install i'm trying to create in my database now four records after that again what we have to perform the commit operation here we have to perform commit is completed after completion of this commit operation then what next one here i want to select all the data i want to fetch all the data select a star from emp1 if you write it automatically, all the records of data here we are getting into the command prompt here. What data now? All four records of data here we are getting. Next one is I want to perform updations over the database table. There we have to perform what there? Updates EMP1. Then set a E cell is equal to E cell plus 500, where E cell less than 10,000. So I want to give some increment for the employees, those who are having their salary less than 10,000. So now here, this is an increment here we provided. Click on enter button. How many rows are updated here? No, four rows are updated. Again, what we have to perform there? Commit operation here. Now here, again here, I want to check it. Select a star from EMP1. <clears throat> all right, sir. Now here, we are getting all four records. Their updations clear me. Next one is, I want to delete the records from the database table. Delete from EMP1. Delete from what there? EMP1. Click on enter button. Four records are deleted. Then what we have to perform there? Commit operation. Right. Next one is what there? Select a star from. Then what next one? No. EMP1. Right. So no rows are selected. No rows are selected in the sense what there? Records are deleted clearly. Next one is I want to drop the table from database table. Drop a table. Drop a table EMP1. Click on it. Right. So now table dropped. Again, here I need to perform what there? Commit operation. Then after that, description EMP1. If you check this description EMP1, object EMP1 does not exist. Object EMP1 does not exist. These are the basic operations what I require. But to start our JDBC programming, this basic SQL query awareness is required that we have to follow. Now let me copy this one also, entire thing in our content here. Some example queries here we are providing. Right, sir? That's fine. Overall, my Oracle database and its uh, 
SQL queries little bit. I shown clearly that we can identify now. It's okay, fine. It is completed. All right, sir. Next one is after completion of this one here. <clears throat> My SQL installation process. But next one here, I want to show there MySQL installation process. I think so. This is your you required your required thing is this one. Already some of you are having MySQL, no? It's okay, no problem. But again, I'm trying to show this. Now already we specified the location here. Now here we have to click on what there community edition. <clears throat> this download here we have to click there. Got it or not? All right, sir. Now here I want to provide this information there. Click on this download button. All right, now it is providing there. Now observe carefully. Either you want to download directly or you want to download it from what there Oracle website from an Oracle web account or maybe from my Oracle web account like this. It is asking there. No sign up and login. Already if you have Oracle account there, we can go through that. Otherwise, not required. There we are getting a message. What message here we are getting there? No, thanks. Just start my download. Understand it clearly. All right, sir. Just one minute. I'll come back to this one. Yeah, now gear copy this and uh, I, I want to show this installation process also first one is what there download mysql from the following link up the link we provided here second one is what there select uh, what version here we have to select there observe carefully uh, just here now here i need to provide this one Select uh, this one. Next one is what there. Click on download button here. If you select this one, there we have to click on like what there download button and uh, download button. All right, sir. Now here, if I click on this download button here, just here we have to say what there. No, thanks. Just start my download that we have to click there. Automatically downloading is starting. Downloading is starting here. Just wait for it. Then uh, click on the link. Up. Right, sir. It's okay. Why I'm giving even this one also. You should not be struck there. Okay. But some people are coming to me. Sir, up to this page, okay, fine. But I have not seen anything else about it. If you scroll down there, we are able to see that no thanks, no. But my responsibility, I'm doing no. Remaining what is it was <clears throat> right sir. now? It is starting downloading, almost all completed. Yeah, all right. Uh, go to the location here where it was uh, provided there. MySQL in installer community edition. This is directly set up file here. We are getting right click on it. There, what happened? Right, sir. Now I want to copy this. I'll go to E drive as usual. Then softwares, databases, MySQL. <clears throat> I think so. Already that version is available with me. Let me check it. I want to paste it. No, not available. 8.0.35 version is available. All right. But before going to start installation of MySQL database, I have to uninstall all the versions here. All the might be MySQL database for my system here. Otherwise, it's not possible. Got it or not? Okay. Uh, no, yeah. I don't want to uninstall immediately now. <laughs> because evening I have a class there. There I'm working on that MySQL database. So if I uninstall it, I'm unable to complete that installation now. But at evening again, it will be the problem here, right? Tomorrow I will uninstall it and in the same class I will install it now. Tomorrow in the sense. <clears throat> Monday, right? Monday holiday. Will you see 15 minutes of time here? 15 minutes of time. Okay, I'll, I'll complete it. This process also. Okay, just take it. Don't worry. 15 minutes of time. So what I will show now, up to the max process, I will show there. After completion of this, it may take some time here. After completion of the time, only finish button. That we can check it. Okay, right. I, I'll show that one also. Just wait here, wait here, 15 minutes of time. Let me complete it. Already 10 minutes of time, my time is available. No need to worry for it. <clears throat> All right, sir. Uninstall program. 
All right, as usual, now get so many products I installed here. I want to uninstall them. Uninstall. All right, sir. MySQL connector J that I'm going to uninstall. So whatever the MySQL component is available in the control panel that we have to uninstall. Again, we are going to start with what their installation can know. Right, sir. Just wait, yo. 15 minutes out of I'll finish it. Then why you, what is the requirement to wait up to the time now? <clears throat> why? Because my other batches, in other batches, I'm doing projects on the base of MySQL database. So if it is the case, no, it, it will be difficult for us. Why? Because that application is in middle actually. Then the crowd operations, I'm implementing that. Just wait a minute out and I'll finish it. And again, here also I'm telling to you, if you have already MySQL database in our system, don't uninstall it. Try to use the same thing. I will provide the required configurations if we need any other configurations. And um, then if you want to check this process in the video, if you want to do that anyway, now itself I will complete it. If you want to check this process in the video in the sense, we can maybe leave, no problem. If you want to leave from class, we can leave it. But I will complete it and I'll finish the session. Okay, if you want to wait up to the time, we can wait. Otherwise, you may leave for it, no problem. Depends on your requirement. <clears throat>
So right, sir. Now I uninstalled that my MySQL database in my system gear. Everything is totally I uninstalled gear. Now I want to start the installation process. Now it's okay. Then after that, downloading was completed gear. Uh, then what we have to do there? All right, sir. Click on the link. No thing. Just start my download and uh, find. Uh, the downloaded link uh, uh, that means that what file is downloaded here that I want to give for you um, right sir MSI next one is what there double click on double click on the MSI file that set up file what we download it all right, so now I'm going to double click on it. If you double click on this, automatically that installation process. First of all, installer will be started. Installer is a separate software. It will install MySQL database. Now this is what their installer, MySQL installer is going to be started. Once MySQL installer is started, then it will install MySQL database. Still MySQL installer only. Yeah, now we are getting what their MySQL installation process. All right, now here, what we required here now, server only, client full custom. No, server only sufficient. No need to have the total MySQL database, right? Now click on next button. Directly here, what we have to provide there, click on the next button. All right, sir. Now click on the next button. And then after clicking on the next button, what we are able to get there? <clears throat> Now it is asking about the locations where we want to install this one. The selected path already existed. What locations are available, sir? As I installed, uninstalled already, already the content here. Now let me check this one. I want to go with these locations here. Uh, say, for example, in a C drive, MySQL, I think program files x86 is available. Where MySQL, I want to remove this. Okay. Action could not be taking place, or else maybe inside this, this I want to remove. It's okay, no problem. Okay, no problem. Get yeah, even though the paths are existed here, it may not give any impact for us. Click on again next button here now. Click on the next buttons. Next one is after clicking on the next button. <clears throat> Still have warning with the selected bus. Are you sure you want to? Okay, no problem. Yes. Right, sir. Now, MySQL server, like this here, we have to click on what button here? Execute. Click on Execute button. Click on the Execute button. If you click on Execute button, it's going to be installed. Right, sir. Now click on next button. Click on the next button. Right, sir. Again, click on next button. Yeah, unhandled exceptions or replication. If we click continue, ignore this error and attempt to continue. If we click on quit, that application, no, 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 continue, no problem. No, yeah, something is going on wrong. No, it was not installed properly. Command line client here we are getting 8.0. Let me check it. No, it was uninstalled properly. I will I will take care about it. Don't worry for it. I will do this one. <clears throat> but in the next class, definitely I will show this. I tried for it, but not installed. Okay, I will check it maybe. In the when we are when we are going to have next class here. <clears throat> maybe on Monday, not possible. Monday is a holiday officially. On Tuesday, I'm going to take your class, next class. Tomorrow, core Java classes I'm taking there up to one o'clock continuously but next class will be on tuesday and tuesday you can come there i'll show mysql database installation thank you thanks a lot
I am not responsible. Money related and all these things. Then classroom loads. Huh? Yeah, without paying the payment also you can get it. Huh? See, one thing I am telling, just one minute, one minute, wait. The payment and getting that uh, content is not at all related. Yeah, Google Classroom code, you will get it, sir. At any way. Yeah, well, without showing that result, if you ask me, then I feel very happy. <laughs> go. This is the link. Already in the first class, very first class, I given this link. You can take it. And the videos and all the things, no? Tomorrow, no class. Sir. And next class will be on uh, Thursday, no? And Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. Next class will be on Tuesday. Thank you. Uh, 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 what topic you are discussing? I was since tomorrow. Bandit learning is completed. Uh -huh. It was completed. I think yesterday, yesterday, today. Yesterday it was completed. Yeah. Then uh, videos, classroom videos, you are able.